in order for me to not spoil anything about this character, and along with me having the lack of ideas for a trailer, this is the trailer. It's Noah. Warning! There may be spoils from the game Xenoblade Chronicles 3. If you don't like this, watch another video. All viewers have been warned and advised. Noah! From the game Xenoblade Chronicles 3! For those of you that don't know who Noah is, known as the Warrior of Seer, and who fought in Colony 9, and Colony 14 against another side that I can't pronounce. Seriously, I, can, I can't pronounce anything from this game. Everything is so hard to stink and pronounce, but that's probably a good thing because I don't want to spoil anything. So to put this in more simple terms, he's a guy with a sword. Not a gun, a sword this time. Like many other people. But what if he actually joins Smash and wh whoever is not like a Marth fighter... Totally not. Maybe not Shulk either. Eh. <laughs> I'll shut up now. Anyways, things we need to know. He'll be mid-weight and he'll have only two jumps. He'll have no additional move options. So, starting with Noah's jab... He will have a 3 hit combo by first having him do a low to high sword swing. The second hit can be a ho right horizontal swing. And the final hit can be a high to low swing. This is based on this cutscene as we've seen Noah and Mio fight. Do you know why? Because they're from the other side! Anyways. <sighs> the dash attack can have him do a charge. Well, with his sword. Have him charge forwards. Pretty simple. Once again, based on this cutscene. His side tilt could be a horizontal hit, working like many, 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 many sword fighters. Okay, now now hear me out. Uh, I, I really don't have anything wrong with sword fighters. They're as long as they're interesting, okay? I promise you, this is not the same moves that a shulk. Now for his up tilt. We have to do a poke upwards, and for his down tilt, we can have him, well, do a low swing, working like show. Oh. Hey. I promise you, I promise you, it's not like Shulk's moveset, okay? I promise. Okay? <laughs> Anyways, for his side smash, well, he somehow, well, takes pieces of his sword. And turn it to a giant gauntlet while his other sword is able to cut through the well strongest metal. Definitely logical. But now what will it do with this gauntlet? For a side smash, we're gonna do a super punch or a hard hitting straightforward punch. That works a lot like Kazuya's side smash. And yes, just like Kazuya's side smash, it cannot be cancelled out. Even if foes hit you. So be aware of that. And I told you. It's not like Shulk's moveset. I swear. Shulk does not have this move. I can promise you that. Anyways. For his up smash. We're going to use that metal cutting sword. And swing it upwards. It does deal some pretty effective damage actually. So be aware of that. And his down smash. We have him do. Well. A swing like that. This move is actually called Sword Strike. Uh, yeah, Sword Strike. Strike, not Spike. Okay. I was wrong. I suck. Anyways, this can have him spin. And as it doesn't deal as much damage as the other two, well, smashes, it will actually deal pretty effective damage to shields. As it is a combo break, it would only make sense if it breaks shields. Because it's a break, and shields break. 
I know, it's a horrible pun, but it, it works for this concept, I guess. Now, four is neutral air. We have him spin his sword all around because he can. Based on the pre animation when he's about to use a move. His side air can have him do a straightforward poke with his sword. His back aerial can do the same thing, but it hits back. His up air can have him swing all around upwards. And his down air can have him spike any foe that's below below him. Obviously being able to spike foes. No one would grab with one hand and would pummel by knee jabbing the foe. Why does the knee look like that? It's because I suck at drawing knees apparently. Anyways, for his side though, we have Noah slightly throw the foes forwards, but then kicks them away. His back throw can have him do your average swing throw. His up throw can have him throw the foe upwards at a small distance, but then reactivates his blade and then stabs them away. And his down throw can have him introduce the foe to the floor. Working as your average down throw. Now, for Noah's neutral special, you can be a charge of attack by having him, well, charges, stored up, and then do a powerful poke like that. Is it exactly like a poke? Well, I don't know what to call it, really. It looks like a poke. It is a poke, and I forgot the actual move's name. I'm sorry, but when it comes to Exmo Blade, I suck at naming stuff. I said that before, and I'll say it again. Okay? Okay. Anyways, this is a charge-up move, and it does deal pretty decent damage. Kind of working like Captain Falcon's Falco Punch, or again, that's neutral special, but kind of like a step below that. Now, for his side special, we're going to do a pretty powerful clockwise move. Once again, as you may expect, I forgot the name. I deserve a slap in the face, don't I? Oh, well. But the main point is, we're going to do a powerful clock. Well, clockwise swing like this. It does have a little bit of horizontal recovery, and it is pretty powerful. So because of this and some balancing, it will have a 20 second cooldown. So be aware of that. Also, yeah, never mind. I was gonna say it works like Mithra's that if you use this, um, he goes into three fall. But uh, you're already wasting the move. And you have to wait for another 12 seconds, uh, 20 seconds, so, uh, I changed my mind. Okay? You can hate me now, since this move is already pretty powerful. Anyways, for his up special, we can have him do something like Mars up special. When he swings upwards with his sword, and then recovers some distance. Like I said, it works like Mars New, uh, sorry, up special, and so many others. Now, 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 now. Now we get to the complicated stuff. Now for his dad special, it could be a switch gimmick that he turns, or actually not really turns, but he switches with Mia. I'm sorry, that's someone has Mia. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's someone that looks like that from Exoblade 2 named Mia. Uh, why does that say Noah? Ah! For those of you that don't know who Mio is, Mio is like Noah, a warrior who is an offseer, but this time she's from the other side. You might be thinking, oh, come on, not another Switch gimmick. Now, 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 hear me out. I have my reasons. I'll explain that later on. But for now, we are now going to go into Mio's moveset. Heh, <laughs> heh, things we need to know. She'll be very lightweight, and she'll have only two jumps. And she'll not have any, any more additional move options. Because, yeah. Because you can't crawl or wall jump in the game. I know it, it makes sense if she does, but uh, we haven't seen it in the game. So, no.
For Neil's jab, it'll be a rapid jab by having her do a quick hitting two hit punch. And then we, she, we can have her have an endy jab by do a spread out slice. Kind of like this animation as we've seen when, once again, Neo battles Neo. Uh, Neo battles Noah. I don't know why I said that. You really want me to shut up and just get to the movesets. Alright, enough enough jokes. I, I promise. No more jokes. Anyways, for a dash attack, we gotta have it work like Sora's... Well, dash attack. By having her do... A slide. A slide kick. Because why not? Anyways, for Mio's side tilt, we gotta have do a kick. Once again, based on the animation. And I bet you know what animation it is. Do you now? Anyways, for up tilt, we got we can have her swing her blade upwards. Creative, right? Oh, I joked. Ha ha! I broke the promise, people. Ha. Okay, I, I promise. I promise this time. I'll shut up. Okay. Now for her down tilt, we can have her do something like shrieks down tilt, where she does a swing kick. Oh. Yeah, then I forget to tell you there are some Shriek references. Yeah, not, I told you there were not going to be Shulk references, but Shriek references. <laughs> Anyways, first, I, <coughs> excuse me, I'm choking. Anyways, for a side smash, we can have her do a three hit, well, slash like this. It is pretty powerful, it hit three times in totals, but it still racks up to be about 24% of damage. Because that's how much a side smash usually is. But her up smash can have her, well, a quicker blade. Because that's the only thing she has right now. Maybe the entire battle. Anyways, we have her swing upwards twice. So yes, it hits twice. The first hit would be the hit that deals damage. While the final hit is the hit that launches foes. And finally, for her down smash... We have her hit both sides twice. Yes, I know it may seem a little powerful, but not only that, it does make her a little bit vulnerable. So be aware of that. Now for neutral air, we have her swing with both blades. For side air, we have her do a double slash with the blades. The back air, we have her do a... A lower to high swing. Low to high. That probably sound better. <laughs> Anyways, for her up air, we have her do, once again, a chic reference. A drill kick, but aimed upwards. And her down air, we have her do a spike kick. Obviously, spikes fells. Neil will grab with one hand while her blade is in the other, and would pummel by smacking the foe with both blades. Her side throw, we can have her, well, throw the foe forwards, but then sends them farther by throwing her blade at the foe. Yeah, she is able to throw her blade, and like a boomerang, those blades do come back to her. I love technology. That's all I can say. It would be really nice to have a boomerang that can hurt people. Anyways, um, no, I know I should have said that. Um, for her back throw, we have Mio throw the foe back at small distances, but then we can have her kick the foe away. Her up throw, we have her throw the foe upwards, but then slashes the foe away with her blades. And for her down throw, we can have her throw the foe downwards. Pretty simple. Ah, how many jokes have I said? After I promised not to do any more jokes. Who's counting? So, for Mio's neutral special, we can have her, well, throw her blades. Yeah! This is a pretty powerful move that she is able to do called Gemini Strike. Now, for balancing purposes, as this is a pretty effective move in general, we will have her only throw one blade, okay? Also, this is a thin projectile, and like Noah's side special, it does have a cooldown of 20 seconds. But if it does hit the foe, 
it is pretty much worth it. It does a lot of damage, but it may be reflected. It also goes across the stage a pretty nice distance, but it is projectile, so it may be reflected. Now for a side special, we can ever do, well, a jump up attack, but then does an X cross slash. Yeah. Now, this does work a quite a bit like uh, Mithra's new uh, side special. And not because it does an X form like this, but because if you go off the stage while using this move, she will go into free fall. Because I know some of you will spam this move. I seen you Mithra players just spam side special. I know what's going on here. Anyways, for up special, we can ever do a Marth style up special and, well, slash up while gaining a bit of recovery. Because I couldn't think of anything else. And her down special can obviously switch back to Noah. Now, you might have a few questions about the switch gimmick. And I will answer them in just one minute. So as you know, there this is a Switch gimmick. The Switch gimmick is obviously with Noah and Mio. Now, for one thing, if you click the roster, then yes, it will start out as Noah, and you have to click Mio in the background in order to, well, automatically start as Mio. But I think we all know that. Another thing is, is how is this Switch gimmick is going to work? Now, honestly, I've been thinking about this, and yeah... In order for this to work, you cannot switch in the in the air. It just doesn't work. Because Mio is going to be in the background or no, depending on which character you're using right now. So, well, either one of them will follow each other. And, it's not important, isn't it? Thing is, you in order to use this switch gimmick, you have to be on the ground and that's that, okay? That could have been way easier to say if I didn't say a whole bunch of other stuff. Anyways, another thing you might be wondering is your stats. How is it going to work? And what are the differences? Now, for one thing you may have noticed is that Noah is a pretty slow hitting fighter, but has long, long range melee attacks, and that does deal quite a bit of damage. While Mio's is a more combo hitting, has more combo hitting attacks. They are weaker, but they come in faster. And yeah, they're not as long range melee so yeah now the main thing is is that yes it's a switch gimmick but it also leads you to strategize like primary mithra who is ironically from the exno blaze series hmm now yes this does lead you to strategize what are you going to use first are you going to use noah to rack up damage quicker or not quicker just rack up damage well i guess quicker or are you going to begin with Mio rack, racking damage, but I guess quicker, but weaker. Uh, I don't know why I said that with Noah, but I guess deal with it. It's a little too late for that. And then switch into Noah to finish off the moves. Like Pyro and Mithra, it's up to you to strategize what you're going to do. But now I did say why I made this a switch gimmick, and I will answer that in just one minute. Is it mine? 
for well for their final smash, both Mio and Noah's final smash. They both actually have the ability to do something called an interlink, which would allow it to turn into this thing, which is known as Ouroboros. Then we can have them do well. I can't remember the cutscenes. Uh, uh, uh. This is awkward. I can't remember what the cutscenes are called in Smash. This is not like me at all. Anyways, we can go to that cutscene that I can't remember for some reason. And first, in order to go into that cutscene, we can have them start by uh, dashing into the, through the stage until they hit a foe, like Gandalf's neutral uh, final smash, but it's not. Then we're going to take them to a cinematic final smash. I remembered it. Yes. I am not dumb. Yes. That's great music right there. Great timing. Anyways, as I was saying, we're going to do a cinematic final smash by having them rapidly slash at the foe with their giant sword. And then that's pretty much it. If this move is above 80% damage, then it will be on that KO. So, for the alts, we have Noah have a red jacket with his gray pants and his black boots with his gray hair. While Mio, on the other hand, we're have her, ha, we can have her have her uh, gray hair with the white coat jacket and everything else that's visible is probably white. Now, for the first or the second alt, we have Noah have a white jacket while Mio will have a red jacket. This time we can have, her lo have long hair. This is based on the ability for you to actually have them switch weapons and jackets. While Mio's long hair is based on an alternate appearance as we've seen her as she has long hair. Now for the third alt we have, well, Noah have a black jacket with different color hair, more blonde. While we have Mio over here with an orange jacket. And brown hair, this is based on Uni, which is Noah's alt, and Tyon, which is Mio's alt. The fourth alt can have, well, Noah have a gray jacket with white hair, while Mio will have a black jacket with gray hair. This is based on Lance and Senna. The next few alts are original alts, as right here. We can have, well, Noah have a yellow jacket, while Mio has an orange jacket. Next one, we can have Noah have a purple jacket, while we have Nia have more lighter violet color of a jacket. The next one could be DLC's costumes. Starting with the 7 alt, we can have this DLC costume. And the final one can be swimsuit costumes. Kind of something that Shulk has for his last alt. So why not? Anyways, for their taunt starting with Noah, we have Noah do kind of like a pose like this based on his main artwork appearance. I made that awkward. Anyways, the second time we gotta say this is our fight. Yeah, I would say it in a British accent, but uh, <laughs> my British accent sucks. Just like my life. Anyways. For his final taunt, we can play the flute, honoring the people that died during the war. While Mio's taunts, we can ever do the exact same thing, depending on whatever taunt arrow the Noah's is. Now, for Mio's second taunt, we can ever pull out a diary, because she can, and then writes the stuff into it. And her final, well, taunts, we can ever say, I wouldn't think this would take long. Once again, in a British accent, because everyone in Xenoblade has a British accent! Anyways, for the victory animations, starting with just using Noah. I lied. Mio. I was confused. I suck. Anyways, we ever do this idle an uh, animation, as we've seen her do in this cutscene, but also we have seen her do before battle. The next animation is for, well, mainly using Noah, which we, we can have him do, well, turning his sword into a gauntlet again, and then poses. 
In the final animation, using a mixture of both Mio and Noah, we have them stare in the sunset while well, standing on top of a hill. Based on the ending of the, uh, based on the ending cutscene, I should say, of X No Blade 3. Except for they were both standing right there. As it's both of their victory theme. Now, as awkward as it is, that's it! That was what if both Noah and Mio was in Smash! I hope you enjoy this moveset. I don't know why you would. I suck. I have said that six times. But if you did, please consider subscribing. If you don't feel like subscribing, then I would suggest you, well, like this video instead. And if you want to keep track of any of our videos, then you might as well ring the bell. And anytime we upload a video, you get ringed the bell in the ear. Anyways, if you want to join our community or hang out with them, I would suggest you go into our Discord server, which is usually in the, well, the description. Or in the About Us page if you can't find that description. I don't know how you wouldn't, but, uh, yeah. Anyways, that's it. That's where no one knew wasn't Smash. So long, peeps.